everyone, welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie, and this is where I share real food recipes and tips to help you feel great. And today we're making a gluten-free zucchini bread. It's really easy and it's buttery and a little bit sweet. It's really delicious. I hope you love this recipe. Let me show you exactly how to make it. So first, I have two cups of shredded zucchini. Now you'll notice that the yellow part is actually a summer squash. So I had one zucchini and one summer squash. And so I guess you could say this is a zucchini summer squash bread, um, but they're really interchangeable. So you can use two cups of shredded zucchini or you can throw some winter, um, or you can throw some summer squash in there like I did. Next, the key ingredient to this recipe is to use gluten-free flour. And I have one and a half cups here, and I really like the Bob's Red Mill one for one-to-one -one baking flour. I think that's what it's called. It really works great for me, and I've used it in quite a few recipes on this channel. And um, this video is not sponsored by Bob's, but I just think it's a really great product. And I've used a lot of gluten-free flours in the past, and this one just gives me the best results, just time and time again. I use it for my gluten-free pizza crust, which is another recipe that I want to make for you coming up. So um, today for this bread recipe, we're using the flour as well. So I just mixed together the flour and the shredded zucchini. And by the way, I used my food processor to make the zucchini shreds. You could also use a cheese grater, but it's a lot of work. And a food processor does it in literally like 30 seconds. So if you don't have a food processor, I highly recommend um, getting one. Okay, so now we're going to add the sweetness to this recipe. I have a half of a cup of coconut sugar, and you can really use whatever sugar you like. Um, you could use white sugar, you can use brown sugar. I'm a big fan of coconut sugar because it is a little bit lower glycemic than regular sugar. So it's really just pretty much the only sugar that I have on hand, and I use it just um, in the same way that you use sugar. So it's the same um, ratio, one for one, I guess. So uh, mix that together. And now it's time to add, well, actually I have a few more dry ingredients. I made a little bowl here. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And We'll just sprinkle that in as well. So what I'm gonna do is make a little well in the center here, and then we'll add our wet ingredients. So I have two eggs that I just stirred up. Put those in. And if you wanna make this recipe vegan, you would use two flax or two chia eggs. Then I have a half of a cup of ghee, which I melted. Ghee is a, um, how would you describe it? It's basically butter with the dairy solids removed. So it's appropriate for dairy sensitivities like me. It's not appropriate for dairy allergies. Um, and if you don't want any dairy at all, you would use coconut oil. It's a half of a cup. And then I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Put that in. And then we're just going to stir it together. And I've been preheating my oven at 350 degrees and we are going to put this into a loaf pan and then we're gonna bake it. It's gonna take about 55 minutes or an hour. Now this, you'll notice, oops, you'll notice that the batter, it almost looks a little bit dry, but the thing is because the zucchini has so much water in it, um, it will make the bread really moist. And you have to be careful with zucchini bread because if I were to add, for instance, if I added some almond milk to this, it might make the bread too mushy. Okay, so I got it all stirred up. You can see how it looks here. Now it doesn't look dry at all. It's really just um, perfectly moist. So we're ready for our loaf pan. I have just the basic loaf pan here that I sprayed with um, nonstick cooking oil and I'll just transfer, oops, 
I'll just transfer the batter into the loaf pan. There we go. Okay, so we're ready for the oven. The bread has baked for 60 minutes and I let it cool for a few minutes too. I want to show you the best way to tell if a baked good is cooked in the center is to take a toothpick. You can buy a box of toothpicks online and you just use them over the years and you stick it right in the center and pull it out and it's clean. And that means that the bread has finished cooking in the middle. I want to cut a slice so I can show you how beautiful and delicious this bread is. Um, also, if you like this recipe, I have a cinnamon sweet potato bread recipe that I will link to. And I think you'll really like that recipe too. It's also gluten free. So there's the inside of the bread. You can see it's cooked all the way through. And as the bread cools and then we refrigerate it, it will become much easier to slice, but it's still warm because it's fresh out of the oven. So let me try a little bite. Mm. I think this is the third time I've made this in just a few weeks. <laughs> I especially like the flavor of the ghee. So if you can use ghee or butter, it really gives it a, such a buttery flavor. And of course you can always use coconut oil if you need to. But I hope that you make this recipe. It is really a winner. And I will link to my other playlist of gluten-free dessert recipes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.